Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Have you heard of a performer by the name of Dimash? Dimash, I don't think so, no. This is my next episode with Ron Wixo. Ron's a drummer. He's toured with people like Cher, Foreigner, Richie Sambora, David Lee Roth, the Steve Miller Band, The Storm, Credence Clearwater Revisited, Eddie Money, Greg Raleigh, and Player with Peter Beckett and Ron Moss. He's a really great guy. If you want to learn more about him, you can do so at ronwixo.com or you can see an interview I did with him a while back with his friend Matt Bissonette. Matt's also a really cool guy. He's worked for people like Ringo Starr, Elton John, just a cool cat in general. Anyhow, I chose this track because I just think it's awesome. I recently did it with uh, our mutual friend here, Ron and I's uh, friend named John Mayen. John is a percussionist for Elton John for many, many years. And uh, he loved it too. And so I thought this would be a good fit for Ron. Be a good door opener to learn about Dimash and maybe check out some of his other tracks. So let's jump into this together and let's see what Ron has to say about Dimash. So this is Dimash. We were chatting. I, I had played it recently for our mutual friend, John Mayen. And I, I think John got a kick out of it. The thing that's cool about Dimash is he actually performs in a lot of different languages. He does play a number of instruments. He's genuinely a really talented dude. And so because his fan base are so rabid, they're like, play this one instead of this one and this one. So it's difficult to find a track to play. Uh, but I think for drummers and John being a percussionist, he was really into this. This is a really great track to open the door. And if you okay. like this, there's a big, a lot of other stuff here for you to check out with this guy. Right. So you can let me know. Cool. Oh. 
guy's got an amazing voice Danny. yeah he can sing the phone book probably and it sound great <laughs> yeah he he's fantastic he really is there's a wide range of wide variety of stuff that you should really check out yeah. it's funny i was saying with percussionist stuff. there actually isn't that much going on in this track <laughs> percussion well, you know, <laughs> so i can see the some of the things that the guy uh on the right side of the screen so to uh dimash is left behind him that guy was doing some stuff with that rain stick thing. And yeah. he had, he had uh, some kind of thing he was blowing into that made it sound like wind or something. It was kind of cool. I've never seen it before. Super neat. And if you watch the video a couple of times, you can see his mouth movements. He's not just blowing into it. He's doing some yeah. stuff with his mouth, too. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought it was really well done because that's the kind of stuff most people would just get a sample of or something. you know. And he's actually doing it live. And uh, the other guy playing whatever that string thing is i don't even know what that is but it's that so he cool. made <laughs> it made some really cool effects on that too that it was really a nice track i don't have no idea what he was you know saying because i don't know what the language was but do you know what he what language he was singing in i believe it's kazakh but i'm not okay. certain but I yeah. Believe. I'm, yeah i mean whatever he was saying it i mean just sonically it sounded great you know the guy's obviously you know got a really impressive voice you know so yeah I'm a fan for sure. Okay, yeah. why don't we uh, jump down to Mexico? Have you ever <laughs> okay. heard? Of a band? Yeah, again, I'm far on the other side here. Uh, have you heard of a band by the name of The Warning? No, I don't think so. Let's jump into that. You can let me know what you think. Okay. <laughs> hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, 
While you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.